My great-grandmother immigrated to America from Sweden in the 1890s and that that was a time when more single women came than any other time. And I just, using my imagination, I just started thinking, well, what was that like, you know, to leave home and to venture out into unfamiliar territory? And producing the journey has really been, in a lot of ways, looking at my own journey personally and just looking at my story and uh, where I've come from, where I am today, and just looking ahead, where's God taking me? An area that's opened up is to take dance to some homeless women, um, specifically at the Chelsea House. And frankly, um, the homeless issue has been very scary to me. I'm totally don't know anything about it. And yet God opened this door for me. And when I started going, when I just said, okay, I'll go, and met the ladies and begin to get to know the ladies, you find out, you know, they're not any different than me. And they're in the middle of their own story. You know, I get to ask them questions. I get to invite them to think about their story. They're just like me. They have the same fears um, about their life. But it's scary to think, where am I gonna go after this? I feel like that's what this, the journey is about. How do we face the unfamiliar um, and move forward? Even more so than dance, I have Jesus that I can give to them and say, you know, you don't know what to do, you're afraid, but Jesus is with you and I can pray with them and I can laugh with them and we can just be girls together. Um, the ladies at Chelsea House are actually going to be our special guests at this Saturday evening performance. We want to give them a part of the proceeds of, of our ticket sales. I've arranged for them to get their hair done and we're going to get them a new dress and I'm looking to get a special car or limo to pick them up and um, I just really want them to have a wonderful evening and hoping that they're going to see part of their story in this story and just gain some hope and courage.